What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a Blender add-on that helps you create streets easily and quickly in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so next street is an add-on for Blender that's basically designed to help you create streets. So it does exactly what it sounds like, right? And basically what it does is it allows you to use curves in order to set where roads are going to be, um, as well as the things on the side of the roads. So you can adjust things like streets and sidewalk widths and other things like that. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here about creating custom roads inside a Blender. And so I'll link to this in the notes down below, but let's jump over into Blender and take a look at it. So first off, you just download the zip file that comes with it, and you just go to edit preferences and you just install that zip file in order to have it inside a blender make sure that next street is enabled right here and then what that's going to do is that's going to give you a simple little menu on the right hand side of the page um, you can tap the n key and what it does is it allows you to draw a street so let's go to a top down view click on draw street notice how there's options in here to draw aligned with the cursor or um, that the depth is aligned with the cursor or on a surface in this case we're just going to go with aligned with the cursor and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on draw street then i'm going to come in here and i'm going to do exactly what it sounds like i'm going to draw inside a blender and so what that's going to do is that's going to create a curve in blender and it's gonna automatically populate things like cars and sidewalks and trees and other things like that. Now, one thing that makes this tool different than a lot of the other tools that are out there is if you draw a line that crosses this street like this, notice how this is actually going to generate an intersection as well. So not only does this generate streets, which we've seen something like before, but it's also going to actually generate intersections of your roads. Now I haven't tested how many intersections you can create, but notice how you can create multiple intersections in here like this. So you can use this curve in order to generate those things. Now note that this is still compiling the shaders in here, so that's going to take a minute, but let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the options that we have in here. So for example, if we look at this, notice how we can adjust things like your street width. So if I set my street width up to two, what that's going to do is that's going to make my streets two lanes wide on either side instead of one. So you can set up multiple lane streets. You can also adjust things like your sidewalk width. So if I type in a value of six, notice how those sidewalks get wider. So in addition, this also gives you the ability to toggle things on and off, right? So you can toggle the cars on and off, the trees, um, all of these different things, you can toggle them on and off really quickly. Note that you are getting a little bit of overlap with the sidewalks here. So sometimes setting that sidewalk width to be too wide can result in the intersections not working the way that you want them to work. So that's just something to be aware of. I don't know if you scaled this to zero on the Z axis, if that would fix that, but it just is something to be aware does happen occasionally. And so in addition to being able to do that, you can also adjust things like the lighting spacing or the tree spacing, other things like that. So if we look at this whole setup, right? Let's say I wanted less trees. So let's go down to my spacing and let's set my spacing to 100 instead of 50. Notice how I get less trees in here. And again, you can toggle all of these on and off. So if you don't want bus stops, for example, you can toggle these off. You can to toggle your benches on and off just using this button right here. Um, one thing to note about this is in addition to being able to do a daytime scene, you can also jump over into Eevee right here and notice how within Eevee your lights are actually casting light in your scene and now you can come in here and adjust the light power so say that you wanted a night or a daytime scene you could just set your light power to zero right or you can come in here and you can adjust not only the power of the lights but also the color of the lights like this so if you wanted like a yellower scene or something like that you could make this adjustment right here and so note that not only do we have the ability to create stills in here, and obviously this isn't gonna work super well just due to the traffic location, but if I click on play, this will actually animate the movement of the cars as well as the walking of the characters that are off to the side over here. Now, I'm not sure how many characters are in here. I don't think there's gonna be a ton, but you can adjust like the seed, which is gonna set where those characters are as well as the speed that they walk. You can also adjust things like your sidewalk material. So for example, um, this comes with some different sidewalk materials in here. So if you wanted this to be like a street sidewalk, for so the street sidewalk is gonna create more like a paver 
look, and it's going to take a minute for that shader to compile as well. So there's a lot of shaders compiling in here, but note that this allows you to create those customized sidewalks as well. So in addition, you can also adjust things like the line length. So I'm going to go ahead and move this back, but you can adjust like the middle line length. So if you wanted this to be like one, Notice how that's going to give you the solid yellow lines. Then you can also adjust the color. So if you wanted those lines to be a different color in here, so maybe like a white line or something like that, notice how you can totally adjust that using the sliders right here. And so note that this also adds things like imperfections, right? Which is great because streets, usually streets are a problem because um, they just don't look very realistic because they're not broken up at all. So like, for example, if I was to toggle the imperfections off, notice how this street just kind of looks, um, it looks really uniform. So imperfections, things like leaves and trash can be really great for breaking that up. And you can actually use this in order to adjust how many of those there are. So you can toggle those on and off and you can also adjust the density. So notice how if I adjust the density down, for example, I'm gonna get less of these leaves in here than I would have previously. So note that under the material section, there's also an object to make the paving wet. And so if you make the pavement wet, you start getting refre reflections off the pavement, which is another great thing for breaking up the look that's in here. So you can also adjust the scale that effect. So if you want it to be smaller, you can adjust the scale. Um, you can also adjust the height, um, which is going to affect like the depth of the, uh, the depth of the water effect on your surfaces like this. So depending on the look that you're going for, you can adjust um, the wet pavement effect as well. And so one other thing is just note that this is currently geometry nodes on a curve modifier. And so I'm not 100% sure how you, once you have this done, like if you don't want the cars to move anymore and you wanna export this to like an Unreal Engine or something like that, I'm not 100% sure how you can export this. Like I think that you would need to transfer or convert this curve to a mesh. But when I tried doing that, um, it just transferred it just converted the street and nothing else. So um, that might be a good question if you do need to do that, that you can ask inside of the Discord, which I will link to in the notes down below, um, if you do need help doing that. Overall, this is probably the best street and road generator I've seen so far that's built on geometry nodes. Um, it's the only one I've seen, at least at the moment, that does it intersections. So um, I think this is a pretty cool add-on. I'm sure there'll be things added to it in the future. All right, so I'll link to Next Street on this page, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you've tried it out, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.